That girl was wound up tighter than a twisted... Now she's in the wilds, all alone. Forge knows all the things that could kill her out there. Someone ran off? Never got her name. Kept quiet. Couldn't tell if she was shy or scared. All I know is she didn't want anyone near her things. That's for sure. I was just curious is all. She didn't have to slug me. Your glass jaw ain't the problem, Lugnut. The girl is. All alone in the bush? And this is Tanakh territory. Which way did she go? West, up the slope. Look for her if you can. I will. Careful now. The girl's maladjusted. Like we have I'm still getting a signal from my focus. I'm sure she's okay. Supply drop. All right. Why? The spike is still intact. Rigs still playing. You okay there? You took out those machines. I'm grateful, but you should go now. There's nothing to see here. So this rig of yours. It's receiving sound through that wire from the thing up on the cliff, what you call a spike. But the message is only a fragment, and you're trying to pick up the whole thing? How did you figure all that out? I've learned a few things in my travels. If you want, we could talk about it. Maybe I can help? You do seem downright knowledgeable. So go ahead. Shoot. Let me have a look at that spike. I might be able to pick up more of that message. How? Let's just say I have a rig of my own. I didn't know Nora were tinkers. They're not. But I am, in a way. Be right back. Well, okay then. I guess. Just follow the wire to the spike at the top. And then please, just don't break anything. Better get climbing. Give her credit, lugging all that wire up a cliff wall. Supply 
Enduring victory. Interesting. Can't seem to get a fix on where the signal's coming from, though. Well, better let the tinker know I got a bit more of the message. This ought to be a good shortcut. Your rig is picking up an old world message. A recording of some kind. Thought as much. Did you hear more of it? A bit. It was recorded during... A, a war. A bad one. Maybe that's why it sounds so darn sad. There's... something about it that makes me think of my late brother. May his ashes stay warm in the forge. Not sure why, exactly. I, uh... I still can't get a fix on the source. Well, the words grew stronger when I got out here. What if you moved the rig now? I'll try to see if you can get a stronger signal elsewhere. Even if I could dodge the Tanakh and the machines, I can't lose that spike. Nothing else pulls down the words better. Okay. If it's an old world message... Then let's try old world methods. They used to pinpoint signals by listening for them at three different spots. The taller, the better. And then they combined the information and used it to find the source. And you can do that? I think so. But your spike is only one spot. I need two more, both up high. Oh. Well, there's a big bright tower in the Tanakh territory north of here. Yeah, that should work. I have another spot in mind, near a place I'm... Camping. Wait. I don't know your name. Or why you do all of this for someone you just met. Aloy. And because I want to know what's out there. Same as you. Selga. And when you find it, Aloy, I'd be eager to hear what it is. Well, I got more of the message, but not enough to find the source yet. Climbing the mountain where my base is should finish the job. This mountain. The southern face is my best bet for a climb if I want to get more of Silka's message. Just gotta look for a path.
Find a good spot to pick up Silka's signal. This is quite a climb. And stick the landing. Looks like I have company. Still made a climb higher. Okay, now to pick up the signal. Where is the best spot? I should try to find a good spot to pick up Silva's message. Stark 1 for 2 to Enduring Victory Reno. Supply drop beacon echo. There. Found the signal's origin. It's not too far from here. I just need to get to it. <laughs> My focus is picking up the signal at Silverfield.
should scan for that signal now. See if I can locate the source. Well, not getting in that way. I should search for another way in. That's promising. Right, going to the water. Words stopped coming from the spike. What happened? This is what was speaking to your rig. It's old world equipment used for communicating over long distances. The message must have shut off when I took it, but I heard the note the voice was talking about. What was it? During an ancient war, a woman was trying to deliver supplies to a man she knew. She wanted him to know that their Past disagreements didn't matter in the big picture. I should be thinking of him when the end came. Oh. I guess she and I are kin of a sort. I wish I could give my brother a message like that. Tell him that I forgave him. He would have wanted that. I know. This man, the, the old one. Did he ever hear the message? I don't think so. I guess that's often the way of it then. But still, with the power of that device you found, the sender had hope that he might have heard it. What a feat! To send messages near and far. Can I keep this? It's a treasure. Of course. Thank you. Sometimes people don't ever get to hear what they should. But with this thing, maybe I can get them talking to one another. From Mainspring all the way to who knows where? Hey, I, uh, I found a few more things in the supply cache. Might be able to make something out of them. Can I use your workbench? Sure. Yeah, right over there. Anytime, Aloy. It's all yours. I think I know just what to do with these... Parts. 
Well, that turned out well. Can't wait to try it. If we go up and over. Can't go north. I'm dead. Are you lost? Spark to steel. Aren't you a jewel in a junk heap? Excuse me? Hold the hammer. I know you. You're that Nora. Ha <laughs> ha! The savior! My savior! Right in the nick of time. The name's Poor Guff Delvesman, chief delver and leader of Poor Guff's expeditioners and purveyors of fine delvewares. What am I saving you from, exactly? Death and despair, my steel flame friend. See, this grand expedition here has had a, a minor setback. Not far from here, there's a secret tunnel, a passage of the old ones, lost and then found. Me and half the crew came through first. The other half was supposed to follow right after. But days later, only one man turned up, shivering like a frog in chill water. Only thing we got out of him was that death and darkness chased them as the tunnel collapsed. Died with his eyes wide, he did. I've been to the tunnel's eastern side. The way was blocked by rubble. There was also a body, one of your delvers, I guess, but no sign of the rest of the crew. Keep your voice down, will you? The rest of the crew's already spooked. They're refusing to press on with the Delve until they're short a way out of here. You lost half your crew and you're worried about the Delve. We gotta make their sacrifice worth something, right? And besides, now that you're here, maybe our sand-stranded days are over. Help me get that tunnel reopened and I'll cut you in on the Delver's fee. What do you say? I'll see what I can do about the tunnel. Ha <laughs> ha! My savior. For the crew trapped here with you, not your delve. One and the same. That it? Over there? That it is. Oh, and while you're at it, would you mind keeping an eye out for my lockbox? The second crew was supposed to bring the rest of the supplies and belongings. I'd hate to lose it to the wilds. It was hand-carved by my dear old ma. I'll bring it back if I find it. I'd appreciate it. Good luck, Still Flame. Rebels hold up at an outpost nearby, need a beating. There's the entrance to the tunnel Porgoth mentioned. I need to find his missing expedition and clear a path back east. The tunnel's blocked, and no sign of the missing expedition. I'll find a way to get further in. Should be able to blow up that fire gleam. There's someone still alive in here. In here. So you're real. Dreaming. What happened to you? A terror in the dark. The world shuddered. A machine? Never got a look. The caravan. <sighs> we all ran. Everything collapsed. Crawled here. Couldn't escape. Did anyone make it out? And find the first caravan. Yes. Someone did. Good. At least... I'm not alone. Rest easy now. Sounds like something big attacked the missing expedition. Press on.
She said they were attacked by some kind of terror. I don't think it was these burrowers. Quick. It looks like it lets out ahead. Whoa! It's a rock breaker. It must have attacked the officer as they were passing through. Must have entered the canyon on the eastern side. I better take a look. Those carts must be the supplies the second crew was supposed to get. Orgriff's lockbox. I should take it back to him. Looks like it came down when the rock breaker attacked. I must have trapped the ice room in the canyon. The rest must have run into the west. I should be able to blow this up to clear the debris. That's the way out. The tunnel should be clear now. I better let Porgif know. some hazard pay you're back how's that tunnel looking i found the rest of your crew one of them was still alive for a while anyway turns out a rock breaker attacked them as they were making their way through poor saws many roads lead to adelva's end but that's got to be one of the worst well i took care of the rock breaker the way's clear now ha <laughs> ha i knew you could do it and uh you didn't happen to find my lockbox now, did you? Here you go. Spark in the dark. Is there nothing you can't do? Here. Your fee as promised. Now that the threat's gone, I'll have the tunnel shored up and cleared out. Then I can send for another crew, get this expedition going proper like. Ha! Ah, onwards to the delve! I keep hearing about people riding machines around here. Not sure what they want or where they came from. Take it from a girl who grew up in the wilds. Birds don't provide much conversation. That's for sure. How are you doing, Aloy? Well, better than you, I think. At least I'm not chatting with animals. 
What's wrong? Meat here flew in yesterday with this in its beak. It's a cord that the Tanakh children use to carry their training swords. The kind of thing one of our young doesn't lose unless something bad has happened. I checked around. Turns out a kid is missing. Wandered off the day before last. Search parties turned up nothing. Gotta tell you, I'm not in the mood to lose one of my people. Especially a child. Let me see that thing. There's a bit of quartz on here. It's probably sand, some dirt. And clay, with a red hue. Sand, dirt, and red clay? I know a spot where all three meet, just south of the settlement. Will you meet me there and help check it out? Maybe use that relic of yours. The way things have been going, I can't trust this to anyone else. I'll get there as soon as I can. I can always count on you. <laughs> Sounds like you are feeling isolated. I think meat's onto something. So, here we are. Sand, dirt, red clay. Just like you said from looking at that child's cord. Maybe you could use your relic? See if he was here? Start where meat is. When she gets squawking like that, she's usually onto something. Okay, I'm on it. There. Small footprints. Faint, but the tracks lead away from here. Yara, I found a trail. Might be the child. Really? Let's go. Back at Scalding Spear, you said you couldn't trust anyone. What's going on? With Draka out of the way, I thought there'd be peace for a while. Two days ago, I had to put down another upstart. He thought I should have sided with Regala. How many more do I have to kill? When does it end? Good question. Do I detect a note of judgment there? You know your people better than I do. But I have noticed that killing leads to more killing. It's always been the way of the desert. Yeah, but should it be? I need help! Anyone! Please! There you are. You're safe now. No! There's machines out there! Uh-oh. Oh, no. One of these things. Whoa! Brace yourself.
That was a fight to remember. Well done, Aloy. Okay, little one. You're right now. What happened? I, I, I just wanted to go on a hunt, or I got lost, and then the machines chased me, and... Hush. You're safe. Just give me a minute with my friend here. Then I'll take you back to Scalding Spear. Thank you, Commander. At ease, soldier. Those machines would have finished me if you hadn't been here. The kid's okay. That's all that matters. Yes. His parents will be glad to have him back. His squad, too. It's nice to save a life instead of end one. The desert kills, it's true. But every now and then something blooms from it. I'll think about what you said. I'm just glad I could help. About that. Take this. You deserve it. You found the child. Well, you and Meat. What a team. Stay safe, Yara. And you as well. It's okay. We'll get you back to base as soon as I catch my breath. Almost done. I was annoyingly impatient at your age, too. Everything okay? What are you doing out here? Ask my grandmother. I risked leaving guard duty to look for her. She stopped to see the bloom, and now she won't leave. Since when does she care about flowers? They're not just flowers, child. They're scarlet stems with the scent that soothes the nerves. Or so I was told many years ago by an Utaru seed tracker. An Utaru? Now you're telling stories. If one trespassed here back then, you'd have killed him on sight. I couldn't. Found him picking flowers. Right near here, in Tanakh territory. I was all set to strike him down, but he was singing. <laughs> singing? Can't remember the tune now. Just the lilt of his voice. And his name. Nilo. He decided to stay for a day or two. I took guard duty here so I could keep coming back to him. And he kept delaying his return to plain song. For the flowers, he said. Please don't tell me I'm descended from a Utaro gardener. Almost. Almost. But the thrill of battle called to me, and he had to return to his people. I've always wondered about the life I missed with him, whether he misses it too. Would he welcome me in plain song? Or at least accept a scarlet stem. It's a long way to plain song, but I get back there now and then. I could pick some scarlet stems and bring them to Nilo, if I can find him. Please. He was an herbalist there. I know the time has long since passed, but I'd like to know. Well, I'd like him to know. Ugh, you know what I mean. I think I do. Encouraging an old woman? Why would you do that? Why wouldn't I? Outlander, what can I do for you? You're the herbalist here, right? Are you Nilo? No, Nilo was before my time. I think he went up north a while back to river him. Why? Do you need a special solve? No, but someone else does, in a way. Thanks. I'll try river him. There's a grove there, a, a memorial, a beautiful greenery. If he's there, I, I bet he'll be tending it. Thanks again. Glad I could help. I hope you find what you're looking for in Riverhim. 
Uh, hi there. Nora, here. You're a long way from home. I suppose I am. I'm looking for an herbalist named Nilo. I think I heard you say his name. You've come to the right place. His seeds were buried here, where he tended the blooms of others. Including my mother's. I'm his daughter, Gia. How long has he been gone? Some five years now. He put a lot of love into this grove. Almost as much as he gave me. That's why I could never abandon River Him. I'd like to leave some flowers, if I may. From an old friend of his. <laughs> Scarlet stems. They're rare in these parts, but they were his favorite. I never knew why. He planted them whenever he could, but never picked them. Preferred to just watch them bloom. Sounds about right. So he was a good man who led a full life? He was. And he did. I don't know who this old friend is, but if my father liked them, they must be a good soul. Good, you're among us again. Look, the Outlander's back. I can still see well enough, girl. Is my long vigil over? You have word from my grandmother's gardener? Yes and no. I laid the scarlet stems at his grave. His favorite flower, according to his daughter. Always love to watch them bloom. He's gone. But he did think of me over the years. That'll have to be enough. Really? That's it? Are you sure you got the right guard? Herbalist? Huh. Seemed like you thought it was a fool's errand. Well, it's just that it meant something to you. It could have been a whole other life. Could have been. But this life hasn't turned out so bad. Even have a granddaughter who cares enough to come looking for me out in the wilds. And I've still got scarlet stems to remind me of Nilo. Sounds like your grandmother's got it all figured out. Maybe she does. Just tell me the next time you want to come out here, okay? Instead of disappearing? Maybe I will. Here, Outlander. Take this. For helping an old woman to remember she was once young. Is something wrong? Sounds like someone's in trouble. It's Jax. You heard some rumor about Tanakh the loitering around where they're not supposed to be. Took off south for Stone's Echo the next day to find them. Damn. Fool. Who is this Jax, exactly? My friend. Ain't it obvious? Bit younger than me, can still move without every bone creaking. <laughs> Knows his way around a bow, too. Good company to share a drink with. When there's sweet sap to drink anyway. But I told him, stick your hand in bramble and you're bound to catch a fist of thorns. Maybe I should find this guy. Stone's Echo, he said? That's right. Uh, if you don't mind me, these roots aren't gonna dig themselves. It's lucky for me that you're here, Outlander. The name's Jax. A squad of Tanakh is holed up in that cave. I think they're in trouble. At least one of them is injured. I'm here to offer help. But with the Tanakh, such an offer might be perceived as an insult, even when help is needed. Will you stand with me? I saw you speak before the chorus, so I know you can be persuasive. And if things get out of hand, I will be stronger with your spear at my side. I'll do what I can. You there! This camp belongs to Eagle Squad. Retreat or die. At ease, Eagle. I'm not here for blood. Just to parlay. 
You know the parlay sign? Let us in so we can talk. So far, so good. Long way from the desert, aren't we? This one was blinded? Boy, nothing gets by you. Looks like your training mission didn't go according to plan. We're here to help, if you want it. How does an Utaro know we're on a training mission? He knew how to request a parlay, too. He's not Utaro. Or Tenax. He must be a veteran. A veteran? I didn't think there were any left. We don't need help from a washed-out farmer. Could have fooled me, judging by the look of things. Sister, it sounds like they just want to help us. Why not let them? What have we got to lose? What do you need? Supplies. Dried meat, ammunition, weapons, camping equipment. A lot of provisions for a trip back to the desert. Everything we need is at River Watch. A huge cache of war spoils up there, left over from the route. The route? When our forces drove the Karja back to Baron Light, they made sure the Kestrels felt the loss, made it hurt. Marshal Canera shot a score of fleeing Karja from the top of River Watch, and her squad gathered the loot. It's all just sitting up there. Ours for the taking. Deadly machines are known to patrol that place, and the ruin itself is on a brink of collapse. You think machines and rotting ruins are enough to keep out Eagle Squad? No, but your injuries are. Let Jax and I grab these supplies for you. This is our mission. I'm not handing it over to some... Fine. Come with us. Fine. The three of you hold position. I'll be back. Be safe, sister. The ruin is this way. Once we get those supplies, everything will be fine. So you say. What's that supposed to mean? Your brother's condition is... That's not your problem, farmer. So you say. Stop saying that! Hey, calm down. We're trying to help, remember? So you say. We'll have to cut across the river. Avoid the Outlander camp down the road. Trespassers. Ugh! I hate getting wet. Tough as a ravager, this one. I heard that. We're here. The entrance should be right under that arch. Machine, I'm going in. No, Aloy's on point. Follow her lead.
the last of them. Handled it better if I wasn't busy covering you, old man. Good use of this. I guess the farmer hasn't lost all his fighting spirit. Supply should be up there. Taller than I thought. What's a deadly climb to Eagle Squad? What are you trying to say, old man? Enough. I'm a good climber. I'll grab the supplies. Come. Let's see if any of these machines have parts we can strip. Maybe I'll show you a thing or two. What could a farmer possibly know about salvage? Only decades of experience compared to your very brief existence. Okay, gotta find a way into the ruins. like some kind of basement. Gotta find a way up. Supply cache should be at the top of the tower, but how to get up there? Small cash. Can't be the supplies Sakura wanted. Better keep looking. These are the supplies? Won't last them very long. I can't leave that kid alone for a second. Jackson and Sakura are in trouble. It's done. 
I better check on Jackson Sakura. Well fought, Eagle. Though I would have preferred if you hadn't taunted that thing. What did you find? Practically nothing. Sakura, there's maybe a day's worth of food here and some rotting medicinal herbs. There was supposed to be more. Enough for... It was never your intention to go home, was it? What do you mean? A blind Tanakh can't fight. And if you can't fight... The Tanakh will kill Korra from being blind? He'll face a trial against the machine. They say it's more dignified that way. But it's still a death sentence. So you were gonna use the extra supplies to live in the wilds? I thought it would be enough to get us started. Can't they stay in Plainsong? Plainsong has too many mouths to feed. The chorus would never allow it. We should get back. I'll take this young sprout back. Meet us at the cave when you can. the truth. Plain and simple. Aloy, we were just about to head in. So what will you tell them? That we'll have to make do. Survive in the wilds without the supplies. That will be a hard life. Better than letting Cory be killed if we go back. There must be another way. I don't see one. So, we're all stocked up then? The cache was empty. But we'll be all right without them. I can't let you starve out here. Just leave me. No! Jax, you said Plainsong has too many mouths to feed to take them all in, but what about just- I am not leaving my brother behind. He'll be safe in Plainsong. And the rest of you can head home. It's the only real solution you've got. The Chorus won't like it. But if I vouch for the boy, share my rations with him, I could convince them. I will do so if Korra wishes. No! You're not taking him! Sakura, I think this is the best option. I'm a burden to you out here. This is what I want. Let me go with him. Permission granted. But brother, this is not the end for us. I will visit you in Plainsong, and no Utaru or Tanakh can stop me. They will be foolish to try. I'll stay and help them pack their gear, then take Korra back with me. You've shown strength and wisdom today. Rare combination. You have my thanks and theirs too, I'm sure. <laughs> 